Hi everyone, Larry Delano here again, this time with Waza number 28. This Waza doesn't use sideways or diagonal evasion. It uses a slight drop back to give a little distance and then an intercept of the attack. In this case, a right punch. This introduces the concept of taking an attack over the waterfall. Uh, like in a prior Waza, we intercepted here and circled the hand around and kicked the person here and then hit. In this waza here, we're going to take the person on an arc, like dropping off a waterfall and then down to redirect them away from you and down. So here I am, the in, in comes the right punch. I give back, raising my hand here to intercept the attack. And as they intercept, I grab it. See, it's being redirected out here. And then I bring it down by my uh, forward knee, pulling the guy down here and dropping my weight. This pulls his body and his head right here. At the same time that I redirect him here, I punch him with a twisted punch to the side of the head, near the temple right here, in this area right in here. So the idea is that as the person attacks, I come up, catch, redirect, drop him down, and punch them right here. After I hit them here, I drop my weight further as I go down and grab his hand at the wrist here, pulling it under my leg, grabbing the other side of it, and now I pull and drop my weight on his arm, throwing him to the ground here. Then I spin around, hitting him in the back of the neck with a backhand to the back of the neck, and then move away. That's the basic waza. So a little bit better flow of it here is, I'm here, the guy rushes in with a lunge punch, I come up, down, hit him in the head. And you want to try to make that as simultaneous as possible. So I'm here, he comes in, catch, pull, hit. Drop down, grab, reverse your hand here over to the other side, pull and drop your weight, hit him in the back of the head, move away. Okay, let's look at that. How can we use that motion other ways? <clears throat> well, let's say it's a left punch and I drop back on the intercept here. I could pull him here, except this time if I'm inside, his head's right here. So if I were to intercept a left like this and pull him, probably want to hit him right here as his head comes down. I wouldn't drop him like I'm doing on the other side. So if I went here, the left jab comes in here, catching, pulling, hitting right here. Or if I don't pull him down as far, I could use my twisted punch from here, right in here, hitting the guy as he comes down here in the head. And now once I've gotten here, I can hit him back right in here. But notice I'm staying in the zone here, in danger of his right hand, so that may not be the best thing to do. How can I use that, that over the uh, waterfall uh, motion again? Yeah. So as the guy attacks here, if I go out, catch, I could pull his hand down here and hit him right across here. Right across here. Once I hit him here, I could easily come over the forearm strike here on the guy. So I could use it as an evasion type thing. I could use it with a left jab. If I go out, pull him down here. It's this downward motion, a little out and a little down, yanking the guy here, and you can drop your weight at the same time. From here, intercept here, pull and drop the weight, and the guy's right here to hit in the head right here. The elbow right under the body, it's over the head as I come in on from the side. I could use it here with, as I move out, I could put it into a double tap from here, catch, and instead of circling it this way, I can circle, pull down, hit him right here, kick him here, hit the leg here, right in here. So I could use those types of motions with it. So it's that motion of drill, drop the guy's weight down, punch him here. Come over here, out, pull him down, hit him across here in the head. That type of over the waterfall type motion. Thank you very much. Next time, 29.